over the past few years we have been working on the supply part of the problem. We are getting new beta cells that we need to put into type 1 diabetic patients. Uh, in particular, we've been working on the use of exocrine tissue, which is most of the pancreas, 98% of the pancreas, that doesn't make insulin. We are trying to convert that tissue into insulin-producing beta cells. Many groups around the world are working on beta cell regeneration from the pancreas, but they're using the mouse model. And the mouse model, while relevant for many studies, we have found that more often than not, it has no direct application to humans. So we're not wasting any time in uh, the mouse model. So over the last uh, year and a half, uh, we have made progress in finding one single molecule that is able to convert the exocrine part of the pancreas into endocrine cells that make insulin. Now, this can be done using other methods that are much more aggressive. For instance, using genetic manipulation. We are the very first group in the world who has achieved this without the use of genetic manipulation. And again, using a compound that is already in clinical use for other conditions which is going to make the translation uh, to clinical therapies much faster.